Now there's no ice there that I could see. We have a pretty good vantage. I'm surprised they didn't kick the ice right into our eye. <laughs> Here's we've round hit, two. We've been hit by blood and sweat tonight. Yeah. Why not some ice? Cholish. Just missing with that overhand right. Cholish in the tight under oh, armor shorts. Good combination. Superman punch, thigh kick. Machado in the black and multicolored blue shorts. Now Machado with another. He started to land a couple of those inside leg kicks. Now he tries the right kick. And Cholish catches it, uh -oh. pulls him down, but now Cholish Chow is caught. Leg. And as you know from the, our last UCC event, he won by knee bar. Cholish wisely runs out. Now, Cholish decides not to back out. He wants to deliver some punishment, kicks or a Superman punch or something from the top there. He's got to watch the up kicks. Throws right. right to the side. And he ends up in half guard. Machado knows. Frank, when you're in that position, your goal really is not to get to half guard. You're really looking to deliver some kind of big damage, right? Yeah, I, I like the uh, axe kick a la George St. Pierre. or uh, I like to actually do in training what Cholish did in, in a real situation. Throw the legs to the left and pass to the right. Almost able to pull it off. But Machado's ground game, too good. He, he knows he anticipated it. I saw Ryan Schultz do that very effectively in a fight a few years ago in the IFL against... Another team, Henzo Gracie guy, Davidis Torres of Vicious, just taking the legs and throwing them down and throwing them aside to pass guard. Cholish unable to do that as he's in Machado's guard. That's a good point. And you know, the uh, IFL, good organization, Kurt Otto, was actually at our last UCC event, if you recall. And I actually remember that fight. You're going into the archives for that one, Joe. Yeah, thank you. I saw a lot of IFL fights when I was doing rear naked choke radio. <laughs> Got to see him up close. Cholish now still working the guard of Machado. Tries to posture him a little bit and deliver a right, but not too effective as both fighters just continue to work for position. Not too much going on there as Kevin Paul Hall watches him. The, the, the referees have been pretty quick to stand up the fighters, and he'll do it once again. At the higher levels, at the UFC, you don't see them stand the fighters up as quickly, generally speaking, except in Florida. <laughs> don't get me started. Good point, Joe. But you know, they know this is a championship fight. It's the first belt to be awarded, and I think they want to keep the pace going. Good striking by Cholish. Cholish's punch is now starting to find their mark, and I'm surprised he's not looking for a little bit more stand-up. He's put himself... I'll tell you, he's able to close the distance very quickly in that double leg, and... Uh, he does it with his head down and his hips high. It's just uh, very athletic. Yeah, very explosive. Now, Cholish's punches seem to be finding their mark a little bit more in the stand-up here. Not that Machado slowed down. It just looks like the space is a little bit closer between the fighters here in round two than it was in round one. The double jab. Jab starting to find its mark there from Machado. Bloody the nose of Cholish. That jab is having some success. Could it, or it could have been Cholish ran into the fence so fast before <laughs> that he might have bloodied Put his own nose. Into it, right? Machado tries for the overhand right. Now both fighters swinging for the fences for the overhand right. Again, Machado, no trouble, but again leaves his head up and might be in trouble now. Machado look, was looking for that guillotine right there, but Cholish was able to flip out of it. They're not dropping his level and keeping his head up. He runs the risk of walking right into that guillotine. He's been good so far, but he's got to be careful. Machado seems to be able to time Cholish's shots a little bit better the last two times. He seemed to know they were coming, and he was able to at least use the guillotine to protect himself, if not work offense from it. I agree, Joe. He's starting to read his fighter now. He's starting to get his timing down. Starts settling in now, a little more comfortable into the second round. Back in the center of the cage. Cholish Machado for the Double UCC jab, jab. lightweight title. Now Cholish, Cholish finally getting back to using that right leg kick. He landed one at the beginning of the round, but now hasn't, you know, took to almost here at the end of the round to land another one. Machado using the left leg to inside kick Cholish as well. I don't know if he's been as effective with it, but he has landed quite a few of them. Both fighters seem to have slowed now just a little bit, or they've measured each other perhaps a little bit better by this point of the fight. Big that slam. slam right in front of us. 
knocked over Frank's water bottle. Trollish now pressing the action as the round ends.